So we just got to the Warner Brothers back lot for our studio tour and like I said I've done this twice before when I was here with my Aunt Pam and I remember it being one of my favorite experiences. You get to see so many different sets, a lot of Hollywood film and TV history here. And there's the big water tower. Here, this is the type of golf cartish tram we're going to be riding in. Here's Bugs and Daffy. Here are the Warner Brothers. So we got tour group A, just totally giving me Pretty Little Liar, <laughs> like references I'm thinking of. <laughs> so appropriate for the Warner Brother back lot. Our tour is about to begin. They just brought us in to watch a little movie about the history here, Warner Brothers. Twenty-three by four actual brothers. Their names were Harry, Jack, Sam, and Albert. They were Polish Jewish immigrants who were completely fascinated by cinematography. They created the Warner Brothers Studios, but we weren't always here. We used to be in the Sunset Bronson Studios up until 1927 when we made a movie called The Jazz Singer. The Jazz Singer was the first ever film with talking, speaking dialogue. It had a whole two minutes of audio, ladies and gentlemen, and that was Al Jolson singing a song and playing the piano for his mother. Very, very amazing movie, and it gave Warner Brothers the finances to purchase this lovely lot over here. That was the Burbank Studios. Different back lots. Back lots are exterior filming locations. Then we will see the DC Universe along with the Harry Potter exhibits. And then we will see a sound stage along with the prop house in the back cave. If you are a fan of Friends, friends, we will all see the Central Perk set. It is a guaranteed portion of the tour, but it will be at the very end of the tour. It's literally the last stop. You gotta save the best for last. Along the way, again, please feel free to ask me as many questions from that one. By the way, we named Hennessy Street after Dale Hennessy, the production designer on set of Annie just because he was nominated for an Oscar for creating for creating this location. Also, this parking lot that I'm driving through right now used to be a personal helicopter pad for a very famous actor slash performer named Frank Sinatra. Oh wow. Frank Sinatra would film all of his Rat Pack movies with us, such as Ocean's Eleven and Robin and the Seven Hunts. So he would park his helicopter on that blacked out spot on the right. Then he would walk to his office towards the um, northern part of the law all the way down there. That's how you know you're special when you have your own helicopter pad. Well, friends, friends has never ever filmed one episode in New York City. I'm not kidding, <laughs> even the fountain. That's here too. Well, not on our lot, but it's in LA. So every time they're walking the streets of New York in Friends, this is it right here. I'm not even kidding. This is literally it. Welcome wow. to New York, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to San Francisco and The Last Samurai. Welcome to Gotham City and Batman Forever and Batman and Robin. Welcome to the South Side and Shameless. Welcome to Chicago and ER and pretty much 200 other titles. Also, if you have seen AI, the artif art artificial intelligence, this is the futuristic city of Rouge. And if you have seen Rent, the musical, on these firescapes up here, this is how they were singing how they're not going to pay their rent and burning their lease notices in uh, the opening what? number. Mm -hmm. Really cool. 
And then for my fans of Pee Wee, Pee Wee's Big Adventure, look to your right hand side where it says Tony's right now. That is the pet shop from Pee Wee's oh, yeah. Big Adventure. He ran outside holding two hands of snakes and passed out on the corner. <laughs> and this building that currently says Police Department Metro on the left. This is Miss Hannigan's orphanage from the 1990s oh, wow. and filmed with Kathy Bates. And then next to it, these fire escapes along with the tan building on the left. That is Miss Hannigan's orphanage from the 1980s Annie. Both Annies filmed in the exact same location. That's how perfect this area is. <laughs> and for my fans of Shameless many years ago, before this was what is currently a police department, it used to be the massage parlor that Svetlana worked in in Shameless. Looks nothing like it anymore. Also on these fire escapes, there is a film called The Mask starring Jim Carrey. I know, right? Isn't that cool? The detail. Yeah. <laughs> they also take jackhammers and they break up the streets to make it look like a real New York street. And then whenever they need it redone, they'll literally rebuild the sidewalk for a cleaner street looking area. Yeah. So on our left hand side, building 80 is Miss Hannigan's orphanage from the original Annie. There's even a plaque for Dale Hennessy just because he unfortunately passed away before he found out. He won an Oscar for creating this area. Anybody get a chance to see Live by Night with Ben Affleck? Well, Live by Night filmed on this building in the left. Ben Affleck went from ER, right over here. This is Doug Rouse's apartment, George Clooney. Right here, also Hulse College. Pretty cool. By the way, all of this brick you see, none of it is real. It is all fiberglass and styrene. Pretty awesome. the bird that just flew. Pretty cool. So that was our lovely Hennessy. Now we're going to head on over to Chicago. Anyone here from Chicago by any chance? No? No? It's fine. Mm -hmm. Well, in Chicago, they have mm -hmm. something called the L train. That's how they get around there. It's kind of like their metro. So we kind of remade the L train, pieces of it, not the whole thing. We ma remade the L train here at Warner Brothers because George Clooney was filming Batman and Robin the exact same time he was filming ER. He was literally working seven days a week. People saw him running around with his scrubs in one hand and his bat mask in the other. So instead of having the poor guy keep going back and forth from Chicago, we built Chicago right here. What is currently being inhabited by Shameless. Gotta love Shameless. Welcome to the South Side, everybody. So that brown theater was used in Shameless and the first season when they need a fake odd ginger uh, Frank tries to break into a mission and the security guard doesn't let him. That's the mission Frank tries to break into. In the 6th, 7th season around there, um, Ian and Lip are walking down the street in Shameless and talking about Mandy's new career choice. I'm not going to spoil it for you. Also, this light green building over here, this is the 1950s House of Wax. After the first one burns down, they built this one right here. Next to that, you have Humphrey Bogart's apartment from the Maltese Falcon, this black and white building right there. This is where Sheldon goes to watch Raiders of the Lost Ark and it's sold out. Oh, I remember so that. The movie, runs from the back alley, and a big group of people run after him from the front. Oh, and if you have seen a, funny a film episode. called Blade Runner, what I'm currently driving through is known as futuristic Los Angeles and Blade Runner. It took one entire month for them to dress the city up as futuristic Los Angeles. Now this theater with the light bulbs, this is used in Friends. This is where Joey had his movie premiere and Chandler fell asleep. Oh, it was we just, that one was just on last night. Show, <laughs> last night. Also used in an older film called Whatever Happened to Baby Jane, if anyone's had a chance to see that. <laughs> now, has anyone seen the Lois and Clark series by any chance? From different angles and nobody ever noticed. This street and this one over here. Isn't that funny? They literally use two streets in every location. This open field right here is where they built the Renaissance Fair, right here in this little area. That's what we call Central Park, except it's nowhere near the size of the real one. And in, in an episode of Friends, Phoebe and Rachel go running. Phoebe does that oh, thing really? with her hand and Rachel runs away. <laughs> it was along this path right over here in our Central Park. Oh, it's so Pretty cool. cool. <laughs> now, if you look to your right, you'll see this lovely courthouse that was used in a number of films, including Argo. Ben Affleck had lunch on the courthouse steps. Also used in one of the Batman films, this is a bank that Bane robs. Also used in Hail Caesar, as well as recently the Supergirl TV show <laughs> pilot episode she poses on the top while paparazzi take pictures of her. Was also used in the Omega Man with Charlton Heston, if anyone's seen the Omega Man. And it was used in a film called Robin in the Seven Hoods with Frank Sinatra. He sang a song called My Kind of Town walking down the steps of the courthouse while there was a big protest in New York City. 
pretty cool courthouse. <laughs> Folks, has anyone had a chance to see La La Land? La La Land? Emma Stone says she works at a coffee shop at Warner Brothers in La La Land. Look to your left hand side, you will see Sir La Lots, the coffee shop Emma Stone works at in La La Land. So, since it is so, so popular, does anybody want a chance to sit in the chairs and take pictures on the set of La La Land over here? If you would like to, now would be your time to hop up and take a picture on the set. This movie won all seven Golden Globes. It was nominated for the original Casablanca film is where it says Urban Lights, the building right in front of us, the blue one. When I pull to the left or right, you'll see it. You'll have a better view of it. That was used in the flashback scene where Humphrey and Ingo were having coffee in Paris. If you remember that scene from Casablanca, filmed right over here. Look to your right hand side, you'll see it. The blue one on the corner that says Urban Lights. Last standing set on our lot. Everything else has been torn down or reconstructed. And then next to that, you have this blue storefront with the windows. This is from The Big Bang Theory. That's the exterior of Penny, Sheldon, and Leonard's apartment. Looks oh, nothing wow. like it because it has windows. When they are filming, they cover the windows and nobody ever notices that it's literally just a storefront. We call this whole street French streets just because they filmed Looney Tunes back in action here. Not in actual Paris. That was not a real Eiffel Tower. That was CGI. For my <laughs> fans of Friends, look to your left. This open field grassy area is where, they, um, where Ross played rugby to impress his girlfriend <laughs> in an episode of Friends. <laughs> So folks, now I'm going to drive through Midwest. Midwest is also known as any town USA. That is because it's home to over 400 different town centers, including Stars Hollow, Connecticut, and Gilmore Girls, Rosewood, Pennsylvania, and Pretty Little Liars, as well as Salinas, California, and East of Eden with James Dean, as well as Hazard County and Dukes of Hazard, and 400 other titles. So you'll pretty much start to recognize it as I drive by. If you have seen the music man i'm currently driving through river city iowa and the music man for my pretty little liars that blue shop tour on my left hand side in the alleyway that's the cafe emily worked in in pretty little liars and then this small brick building on the left hand side this is lucky leon's cupcakes from pretty little liars it is also used as the marketplace in jersey boys that frankie valley's waiting look out for the rest of the guys by the amazing clint eastwood anyone watch ghost whisper with jennifer love you it's on netflix this is the oh, antique yeah. shop from Ghost Whisperer right over here. And it is dressed. They're about to film in here in the next couple days. It's a brand new production. It's called American Women. We don't really know much about it yet. For my shameless fan, look to your left hand side. This brown and red little storefront. That's the famous alibi from Shameless. The bar that Frank Gallagher goes to every night. If you do need a picture, I will pull over in just one moment. For my pretty little liars, that's the famous church they have the um, that Allison's funeral in. Also, that church was used in the original Ocean's Eleven movie with Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, Sammy Davis Jr. In the original Ocean's Eleven, they hide some money in a coffin in the church and the person in the coffin gets cremated along with all their money. It was also used in Norbit with Eddie Murphy, if you have seen Norbit. Oh my um, gosh, I feel not, like I'm in Rosewood. It's an Oscar nominated film for best hair and makeup, I kid you not. <laughs> this church was also used in the Waltons if you have had a chance to see the Waltons uh, ladies the and gentlemen. Go in because so, Hollywood we're gonna actually hop up in uh, one moment and walk around this lovely, lovely town over here. Oh, and for my pretty little liars, Rosewood High School right there and Rosewood City Hall over here. And then we left it that way just because it's so insanely popular. <laughs> All right, so as soon as I pull up over here, watch your head and step exiting the vehicle, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so we're just going to walk around for about 10 minutes. It's Rosewood City Hall. There's so many scenes right here. Right over here is the Rosewood High School. Did you guys notice the Tanner residence right there? Oh, oh from Full house. house. Welcome to San Francisco. I know what you're thinking. There's a house in San Francisco. There was a house in San Francisco. Feel free to take your pictures if you guys need pictures in front of Full House. There was a house in San Francisco, but the owners got tired of tourists sitting on their steps, so they painted the house black. <laughs> then they got a lot of hate mail for it, so they were forced to sell their house. And the creator of Whole House, Jeff Franklin, who purchased the 
inside right now we can't go into Miss Kim's antiques but that greenhouse is also known as Emily Fields house from Pretty Little Liars it is also used as the Geller house in France in France oh, wow. you guys see the staircase in the greenhouse flashback episode to Rachel and Monica's prom Ross was sitting on the staircase playing the keyboard they were waiting for Rachel to show up that's where they filmed that scene right there now let's keep on going this way. Uh, this white house is used in Rebel Without a Cause. This is Plato's house. Hmm. The entire ending scene happened here, as well as the Griffith Observatory. This is also used as Miss Deagle's house in Gremlins. In Gremlins, she flies out the window and lands in front of this greenhouse right over here. <laughs> for my shameless fans, we're currently walking down Frat Row from Chicago University when Kev went to stay with Lip for a week. This whole street is also known as King's Row. We named it after the movie with Ronald Reagan. And for my fans of Friends, this house with the blue steps, used in the episode where Phoebe wants to look for her biological father. That's where the whole that was also happened. the song last night. Right there. <laughs> now this blue house over here, this is known as Suki St. James House from Gilmore Girls. It is also used as Mona's house from Pretty Little Liars, mm -hmm. and it's also known as James Dean's house from East of Eden, the original film. In East of Eden, this entire town was Salinas, California. They had the whole war parade, and they actually did film in the inside of this house. And we're actually going to go inside right now. This way. Oh, wow. <laughs> we get to go in Mona's house. <laughs> oh, there's a lizard. <laughs> Oh, no, it, it's a bird. I it's lied. A bird. <laughs> Do they have many lizards out here? I've seen a couple. Really? Like, you know, in the mountains. Like, if you go up the Hollywood Hills, you'll see a lot. <laughs> They're quite small. They're actually very small. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Not very glamorous on the inside. Not at all. Especially when they haven't filmed here in a couple weeks. They don't tend to mm -hmm. film the insides until they start filming. So what we're currently in is Mona's house. It is also, um, it pretty much, notice how incredibly small these houses are. We don't usually have ceilings. This is a fake ceiling. If you're tall enough, you could probably push it up with your finger. It's just a really thin paper thin oh ceiling. Oh gosh, I recognize that these from Pretty Little Lines. There are no second floors in any of our practical mm -hmm. sets. Everything you saw here, every house does not have a second floor. Nothing here does. That's because it's not very safe to carry heavy camera equipment to a second floor in a house that's not built to be lived in. You can't live here, there's no plumbing, there's no electricity in these houses whatsoever. When we do need things of the sorts, we would have our special effects department come in and they'll add that all in. Usually, instead of ceilings, if this wasn't here, we would have those big air ventilation tubes lined up. That's because in the summer, when it's 100 degrees in here, it's very hard to breathe. Not to mention, you'll have props, cameras, lights, actors, very crammed in here, not enough air. So that's why we have air ventilation tubes up here, and it makes it a nice, comfortable environment for everyone to work in. Also, nowadays, nobody really shoots on the inside of these houses. Nowadays, they just shoot on the outside, then they move into sound stages, which we will see later on. So let's keep on going this way. Also notice that we do not have doorknobs. It is the specific set dressers and decorators job to bring their own doorknobs for the production. Depending on the time, genre, location, and era, they'll bring their own doorknobs and take it with them when they leave. <laughs> Oh, this is Pretty Little Liar Central, I can just tell. This place is from here. Bye, Nate. Bye. So, from this direction, it is a completely different house. From this direction, this is Lorelai and Rory's house from Gilmore Girls. It is also what well, was momentarily used as Spencer Hastings house from PLL. Momentarily, I say because they blew it up and they had like two houses. It was a big mess. And that over there, that's the famous um, the shed that they had the sleepover in right over All there right. when Allison went missing. Pretty cool that we still have the shed because I thought they would have <laughs> torn it down because nobody else ever used it, but they kept it up. For my shameless fans, that little side porch backyard, depending on the angle you filmed it, it was all of their backyards. It's oh. pretty funny. <laughs> they literally use one location as multiple. Any questions or anybody need a picture anywhere here before we go? So this was Emily and a bunch of people's backyard. <laughs> That's not from a show, that's just like 
every single set. episode. You guys came on a really good day because we don't <laughs> usually ever get entrance or access to the set of the oh, Big Bang Theory. Awesome. It's really rare. And if it does happen, it's usually a weekend. <laughs> so it's a really <laughs> So yes, it is a really, really good day that you guys came. Mm -hmm. The one thing I have to ask is that since this show is still in production, by that I mean it is um, still going to be filming. They're not filming today, but they will be when they come back. So we cannot take any pictures inside. Just because there's spoilers, we cannot take any pictures whatsoever inside. Well, I promise, please just don't even try because they will find out. They always do. It's, it's really sad. Just please don't even try. Because <laughs> they're very, very strict about the pictures in a lot of ways. So guys, so we're going to pull over right here. We'll be inside for about 20 minutes. So feel free to leave and... So this whole thing is all Harry Potter.